Good morning. Today I wanted to show you how I read the news from the terminal. Uh, so before I begin, I will just make a little Z. Um, uh, reading news from command line. So uh, how to read the news from the command line. Um, and I'll give that the tags productivity personal and command line so the main thing about the let's talk a little bit about the advantage of um, reading from the command line so it can integrate in your already existing terminal wor workflow um, so I do as as much as I can I do from the terminal uh, I ed edit all my texts in Vim and I, I I'm a DevOps engineer so I work from the terminal all day long and then it's very good to have just this one area where you're working from um, and that you can integrate other tasks such as reading the news uh, into that workflow and uh, another advantage is uh, free from distractions so if you read news on on web pages you will see that there's always images and advertisements and it's very easy to get sucked into things that you didn't intend to read about at all and um, another advantage is that it 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 um, you can control how the content is rendered uh, how content so it's it's similar to a Kindle, you know, and e e when you read ebooks on the Kindle, you can control the typesetting and how large the characters are. Well, basically, you're doing it in the terminal, so it's already completely adjusted to your needs. So I'll just quickly show you how that uh, workflow looks like for me. So I'll just open up a new screen here. So in the morning, I oh, I um, make a cup of coffee, I sit down, and then I run the NB command. This is something I wrote myself, but it uses the program called Newsboat. So I do NB, it opens up my news feeds like this, and then I open up the first article, and these are already read, so I'll just uh, um, usually use the, you, you press the N button to go to the next unread article. And I'll just use the shift K just to go to the next article in the feed. So what I do is I, I focus my eyes on the title line here. And then I very quickly just go through and 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 see um, what what the like if, if the title interests me or not. So I'll just go. This is what it looks like. I just quickly scan the title. And but on that, I can very quickly determine whether I want to read the article or not. So let's see. Okay, well, let's see. Th this might interest me. Th then I can continue reading like this, and then I'll just read the article. And when I'm finished reading that or scanning it, I'll just go to the next one. And that's th that's how it uh, i can just go very quickly go through a feed and very efficiently scan whether i want to read something or not and then if there is something that i actually like i'm, I'm reading it like this but if then there's something that i would like to see in the browser then i press the o key and it will open the the article in the browser itself um, as you would read it on the website so if if i have a suspicion that there are images here that I would like to see, or if I would, uh, if there's something lacking, then I can, I can, I can uh, open it like that, all from the terminal, very easy. And um, as you see, you, so it has the advantage of being able to very efficiently skip through the feeds and sort of decide whether you want to read something or not. It is rendered exactly how I want it, in the font that I want, in the font size that I want, and that my eyes are used to because I'm working from the terminal all day. And uh, another part is that I have customized how Newsboat is opened. And I will uh, quickly show you that. So if you just run Newsboat vanilla like this, then you see it's open. it opened up on the left side of my screen and um, 
it opens the art the text on the left side as well so this is a little bit annoying because I have to turn my head to, to the right and it's not in the middle where I would like it to be and um, it would be much better to to have it in the middle so I wrote a, a script for that and um, uh, as you notice there is some text in the screen now but if I run the NB command it opens up a new pane in Tmux it clears this one as you saw so it has no um, distracting text over here it centers it nicely and then it um, also wraps the text so that it's just this nice column in the middle as you see here so it's very easy on the eyes and uh, very efficient to read this way this script i uh, it's it, it, i call it a script but it's basically a one-liner um, I can sh just quickly show you that actually it's just uh, NB uh, this is it it's a bash script and it splits the pane it resizes it to 130 and then it sends the newspo.r command to it and the R stands for reload all feeds and it clears the other pane like that so how does the uh, newsboat work well it, it uses uh, RSS feeds so if I go to my own website um, this is my blog and here you will see um, that there is an RSS button over here and this RSS generates an, uh, this web my website generates an XML uh, file on this URL and this is what's called an RSS feed and Newsboat is able to take those RSS feeds and render it like uh, like we just saw so uh, you control how the content is rendered and um, let's see one very important element of this is that you are you are choosing the feeds that you want so you 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 can carefully curate curate uh, which content you consume so you build your own uh, social media feed and you decide exactly what goes on there because you choose the sources and there are no advertisements uh, no advertisements or um, related suggested articles and the advantage of that is that you don't get dragged into something that you weren't intending on reading uh, anyway um, so I think that's about uh, it about news feeds. Uh, let's just quickly write down that Newsboat uses RSS feeds, which are generated by websites. And very often you can just find RSS feeds uh, based on this little icon. Sometimes you will see websites that have this icon, but you can also um, like the uh, if you the, if you can for example do BBC RSS and then you will see news feeds from the BBC or the the Dutch public news service is, is called NOS so if I do NOS RSS then it shows me the RSS feeds uh, which are available to me and if I were to be uh, interested in economics then I can take this URL and I will go to my uh, newsboat folder. It's in my home directory. And I have a URLs file here. And let's just pretend I want to read more about economics and add that to my feed. So these are the URLs that I'm currently following. And I add that to my feed. So I open up newsboat again with NB and you will see here that NOS economy has been added and then I can open it like this and see oh is there something interesting no 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 oh yes this is interesting so I will read it like this and if I think it's uh, something I want to see in the browser I press O and uh, I can continue reading here if I want to so that's it. Uh, I think it's very useful to to read from the command line. It is m it re greatly improved the efficiency of the the way I consume content, and it's surprising how many RSS feeds are available. 
and my blog for example also has uh, an rss feed so if you want to stay up to date w with what i am posting you can add it to your rss feed and it, it can uh, just uh, notify you or you can see it when you have unread messages and it will show you the articles right here in your in your terminal so um, that's how I like to do it. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, put them down in the comments. And uh, good luck with your own newsboat adventures. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.